Back to another Madden 24 franchise video. I'm your host, No ID. We had the Super Bowl. As you can see, it's glitchy. It's already acting weird. It's already acting weird. I'm going to try to look at this. About that part, and I'll ride or die with you anytime <laughs> you know that. But here's the best thing about this everyone talks about trying to keep things normal yeah. as they approach the Super Bowl. There is no such thing as normal. The pageantry, the For whatever hype, reason, that is more intense than anyone could ever imagine. What you're trying to do is embrace it in one but, way, hey, we here and make sure it doesn't totally gotta try to make you the best off of your it. game. That's why the night before the big one, teams often switch hotels, try and give those guys that last the chance. The only other option I have is to like before they go out and play. Try to get him to cancel and then we play later, but who's to say it's gonna even work then? This man got three deep out zone KOs. No, he don't. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he is brought down. <sighs> I gotta get I gotta figure out what the you know, two, and it brings up second down. What the abilities this so Super Bowl, far. of course, just a huge one for this head coach. The first time he's walked the sidelines so in a game make sure. of this magnitude. And you know, I might normally ask he's the cliche out. what's going through his mind right now, but maybe the better question, CD. What do you think are the pitfalls of being a first-time head coach in this game? Well, you know it's something that he thought about, Brandon, and he had to, and he was thinking about it long before he got to this stage. As the season progressed, and he saw his team was good. <laughs> good carry. He was plans right then I was about to toss it, but then he went to go get him. There before. Find out how they handled winning. Losing, I was about to try, but then he went the to get him. Situation, so, travel, practice, had to leave that alone. Those things, and then trust your gut, make your best decision, and put it all out there and give your team their best chance to win. On first down, he'll drop to throw. Woo! And his throw's going to be incomplete. Not too many things get to a quarterback of this magnitude, but I think it's safe to say that pressure... I can't can believe that was a bad throw. He's obviously Come a great on, franchise quarterback, but felt the pressure, threw it incomplete. Now a second and ten. Option play, here's Pauly. Uh, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards. Uh, not good. Middle, third and 12. An awful lot of congestion in the middle third of the field, but how about our defensive tackle right there? He didn't just hold the line, he provided some push and smacked the ball carrier down for a loss. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. I should have double teamed him. Honestly. St. Brown in motion right. Third down, he'll drop to throw. Swinging this out for Pollard. Good catch, good run, good decision. First down, they did. 17 yards on that play for the Titans. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area, that they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. The catch. Come on. Let's go. Good score. Good score. So this is making me think I'm not going to be able to make my adjustments, which is not good. So a long play for our first points in the Super Bowl. But to have to get the ball first no and the score. And His defense is really good. The last person he played, he only gave up five them. points. The ability to strike Here we go. Anywhere on the field. How about the way they got it started in this one? It says my connection, so I'm going to turn the music off. It says my connection, so I'm going to turn the music off. I'm going to turn the music off. Exit out of everything. Disconnect the phone off a Wi Fi. You just never know. Man. The 
There's the Titan kick. But it's been like that in this game for a Maybe the time of day. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And he returns right, let's this go to the 22. Let's stop. Oh, my stream stopped. Okay. Now Mayfield and the Bucks come up on first and ten at their own 22. Good tackle. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Opting to run again here with White. Hey, go on. Up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a gain of 16, first down Tampa Bay. Well, as we've learned over the years, just because a guy plays left tackle doesn't mean he doesn't have run blocking abilities. And we just saw it there. Controlled the line of scrimmage, created a big gain. That's kind of a bonus. He's there to protect that high value that you have back under center, but he creates space in the run game. Yeah, not only can he dance, he can mash too. down here's white okay. and able to break All right, so he's but then quickly brought fine. down but a nice little game it's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three a nice run here early on it doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber that runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses From the 42-yard line, here's second down and three. They run straight oh my ahead here with White. There's the stiff arm. And he's able to get this one down to the 40 He might have to come out and... Uh, a big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. It's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. On first and ten, Mayfield. Ah. Uh, he's right there. Can this one pass the 30 to the 25-yard line? He was a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of this Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. They'll go up the middle with White. And a strong run there as he'll maneuver his way down right. inside the 15. Let me go. 50 yards rushing for him now on their opening drive of the Super Bowl. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They go right back to White here on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second down, they'll run tackle. right. Trying to bounce it outside, but he's only able to get it back to the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. <sighs> well, we've got a lot more ahead of us here in Super Bowl 60. Second quarter coming your way next. 
Seven nothing is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. An eight play drive to this point. So here's play number nine on third and seven. Mayfield down. Ooh, pick that from me. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. But that was certainly an aggressive call and an aggressive play. Instead of just going for the first down, took the shot in the end zone, went for the touchdown. And on third down, they said, forget about the sticks. We want six. We needed that pick. And his kick is indeed good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So both teams come away with points on their opening drives. Now they still trail. They answered the touchdown with a field goal, but at least able to break that goose egg here early. And that is what's important, right? Because they didn't let that initial we'll touchdown go unanswered. Took the ball themselves, moved it downfield, and put it through the post for three points. Usually those are the ones that go. And no chance to get away as they'll get it. Usually those way back the there. Are the ones that go. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. The partners of the defense have not had no much of physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. First down, and it's Pollard again. Right. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Well, you don't turn your nose up at a gain of four, do you? They'll take that on first down. Playbook's got to be pretty well open on second and six. And now an audible here into something else. Second and six. And that's to Alvin Ross in Brown. Should have scored. I really should have scored right there. He's a thousand yard receiver during the regular season, and that's his first catch of the Super Bowl, and he picks up the first down. Pollard gets it off the option, and he'll take this one down to about the 40. Jamal Adams got up from a safety spot to make the play. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run. Not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. What I'm doing. Second and nine. Here's Pollard again. He'll take this down to the 26-yard line. The Titans get 14 yards there and move the chains as well. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. Here's a screen. Oh, let's the score. Let's score. Yeah, All right, let's get a stop. Let's get a stop. Twenty-six yards, and the Titans continue let's to look stop. good here in the first half of this Super Bowl. A stop and another touchdown puts us in a great position. Butker is on target, and that pushes the lead up to eleven. A stop and a touchdown puts us in a great position. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. 
And bulldozing his way through. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. They trail now 14 to three, an 11-point deficit as they start things out with a first and 10. That's caught. It's Shai Smith. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Let's go back to the other This has a really good first half to remember on either side of the ball. But I think this kind of makes this an important drive. You'd love to get this back to a one-score game if you can. And that's good work there to get some yardage here and pick up the first down. Hey, come on, come on, come on. A first down throw for Mayfield. That one complete down the field. To Smith. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 down at the 33. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Mayfield knocks this forward. It's a jet sweep. Yes. Still fighting. Okay. All right, we got to go back to the before he's brought down. We're not getting no love. So they cite the right guard this time with a holding right. penalty. That's so many mind. different assignments you could have at that position. And sometimes sure you might is. just be a step too late and have to grab and hold on. Working out of the gun, Mayfield. The defense. And this is incomplete. No sense and risking anything buddy. there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a I'm receiver to anymore, his so side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who could make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. Game clock sitting at 2.02, so they'll get one play before the two-minute warning. Good break two up. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder coming up at intermission, we'll get highlights of this Super Bowl from Jonathan Coachman of the crew in Orlando for our EA Sports halftime report. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Smith will come in motion right. On third down, Mayfield. He's getting right out of That's good money. But first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And this is an offense in need of getting a few good things to happen. Here's one right here. They've had their share of struggles in key moments, but that's a nice throw and nice work after the throw. And they're set up now with a first and goal. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Here's White, and he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. The Titans going to use Please the time about we get the ball back. We might be able to put some points up. Talk things over prior to this second him into a down play. Once again, it's White. The tackle. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their three. timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This Titan defense, they just will not give in easily. 
Looking for another stop, third and goal. Mayfield looks to throw. Oh! And he'll be kicked as so. he releases it, and that'll fall in complete. For it. I hope like he goes for it. so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Okay. I got my wish. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. I know they're not going to call it. I think it's incomplete, call. but there is a flag. Yes. And on fourth down, oh. this is a big call. Well, they got the ball Ooh. already. They're not going to risk the yardage and running they was about to play down. Me. They declined it. And what was that they taught you in law school? All right, if we can get out of this. Of the law. I didn't go to law If we can get out of the quarter oh, with the score I like this, well, I figure we're I'm gonna good. Put, I'm going to give that to you anyway. <laughs> Possession is nine-tenths of the law. And it's nine tenths of this game too. Having the football counts. You're so litigious. <laughs> and they'll send the tight end in motion left. Pollard will take it up the gut. A beautiful fake. And he'll find a little space. He gets us up near the ten. Not any rush. That's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. I think they're ahead of schedule now after that run. They might be bold with this second down call after that type of a game. Second and four. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. In motion comes the tight end left. They'll look to throw here on first down. That's the flag. Receiver complete. And he's going to be taken That's down. Not, not There's flag. a penalty flag in the backfield. Yep. They may get 15 more on top of this. So the yellow flag came out, and that leads to a new set of downs for this offense. First and 10. They're going to look to throw. Eluding the pressure right. Dang. The running back was open, but I was scared. Throws it away. A wise move there. Looked like nobody open. Now second down. One thing you always worry about when he breaks the pocket is, is he going to take off with it? That time, the pressure was starting to close in, and he's just got to throw this one away. Not liking the look. They'll change the play. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Mm. Flushed out right. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. I, thought it I don't want to make a big run. mistake here. He just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. I'm uh, it from him. The corner blitz gets there as he goes down we'll for try. a loss of seven. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully. He won a kicker of the year. Yeah, we're gonna get a time call out. Time out. I have a With feeling two I'm seconds remaining going in the second this. quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, I don't think he's got field goal me. unit. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it. And say, as we'll long as it doesn't get blocked, I'm fine with whatever the result is. Oh, I made it. Butker's kick here is Kicker of the year, baby. Let's go. For this first Kicker down. of the year. So two quarters down, two Kicker of the year. Charles and I return after the break.
Now here's the question. Do we go back to dollar or back to big nickel? He's been driving on us, honestly. We've been bending, but we haven't broken. It should have started by now. I saw pause while we figured this out. All right, y'all. So we are going to try to recreate this and start over. So I'll get that to y'all. Welcome back, Charles and I. All right, y'all. We are back after spending a very long time recreating this score. Probably like an hour later. We're back. All is well. These two teams so. sat through a longer than usual 30 minute it. wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. Reset the router. Reset the and up to about the 26 computer. Reset the PS5. I don't know why I did so much resetting, boy. It ain't even funny, boy. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. All the only thing is, like, and I'm right kind now, of their chances of hoisting that Lombardi trophy not looking too great. But iced, basically. At long half I mean, I guess he is too, but, him a world of good. but if there's ever a it, chance it would to benefit regroup, him more than me, it's in this game, right? Because you do have that one half time, a point. chance to really assess things and maybe make some changes and true adjustments. They played great all year long. That's the worst first half of the season for them. They're hoping to put it behind them and come out punching here in the second half. Hmm, good pass. Meanwhile, Mayfield slow there, taken in by Smith. Yeah. That's good, the completion there for seven yards. And that will bring up second down. Mm -hmm. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a new point there is they were able to connect. And just three yards. See why he paused it. Maybe he had somebody he didn't want to hand or something. He couldn't get away. Maybe and that's going to make it third down ball. and less than a yard.
They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. Right. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. You need to stop. Yeah. They're able to convert with a gain of four. You get a turnover right here. Stop with the game. Established, but in my estimation, they've got to pick up the urgency here. They've got to get quickly in and out of the huddle and run off a bunch more plays. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. Flushed out right. This is Smith with a grab. That was on me. Good change in field position Not there. Sure. That's 40 yards on the catch and run. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Goes right back to Smith again. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. This duo locked in 14 yards there and a first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Quick throw and they feel the points. Oh, do I have a base touch? Can't believe we gave it to the team. From six yards away. And the Buccaneers are back within a score. That's the score you felt they had to have here in the third quarter to get back in this game. And you know that there was an emphasis on their side. Hey, we know this. We know where we are. But oh sometimes God, that binds you up so much that you try too hard you don't I'm get the score. Upset. A perfect saying. combination of urgency. Yet we lost enough upset. to get it done. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that slices the lead win. down to 17-10. Get our trophy. Go you down. Following the touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. <sighs> Tennessee offense about set and ready to go. And maybe some renewed pressure on this unit following the touchdown a moment ago. It's back to a one score game. And because of that pressure, because it's now a one score game, they know this is where you need to slow the momentum change. Because otherwise, that could overrun your team. You've got to be careful right here. Inside four minutes to go, third quarter. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. Here's Pollard again. Oh, in the first this. half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. And they've got to feel fortunate about in the situation. that. If they could actually get production from the lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. What's crazy is about that is like I'm probably about to pick something conservative right now. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. I should have audible, but I don't have enough time. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. A big seam, and he might go all the way. Hey. And he's going to be ridden out of bounds down inside the 
25. 51 yards rushing for him now. And just I wanted to audible the speed carries. action. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like it. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it off. And First down, and it's Pollard again. And they're knocking on the door now. There's a good run there. We're going to take this we get to the, the 10 yard line. Get to the fourth. And it's up there. It's there and another great first down. At the very and least, seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower. That front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Staying big number or staying out. To be honest with y'all. I guess I'll stay in Dallas. We'd much rather have Nick going down the field. So let's just go back to Dallas. Let's just go back to Dallas. If he wants to run it, by all means run it. The clock's ticking. team as they run up and send this one away. Out of the end zone comes Smith. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter. Went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown Johnny, a moment ago right back where we started at halftime. Yeah, you're exactly right, partner. They had a little bounce in their step after scoring that first oh. touchdown, but the defense gave them up, and that's the problem right now. Can they get better play from their defense while they continue to score on offense? A good run there on first down, and it'll leave them with a second and two. Not rough in the past, right? Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold to throw Mayfield. Oh, we messed up. And this one is going to be off the mark, <laughs> too far out in front. Just work with me a second here, because in my lifetime, seeing how quarterback percentages have changed in throwing the football, I mean, back in the good old days, if you were around 50%, you were doing okay. But now, you need to be 65 to 70% to be considered an elite quarterback. And in this ball game, I feel like we're playing old school, right around 50%. Yeah, he's under 50%. He needs to start hitting more targets. And they worked as well. Oh my gosh. All right, let's go. Let's go. Next, the biggest quarter of the entire season. Only I know what I'm supposed to do. Here in Super Bowl 60, as we get set to begin the fourth. That's all we want. Take as much time as possible. If we can get a turnover here, that would be great. 
Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Going to the air again with Mayfield. Nice. He's got his man. Nice. It's right. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. The Bucks passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. Okay, we might need to go back to the game. <laughs> I'm not sure what we should be doing. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Let's just focus on scoring a touchdown. And I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. They want the onside kick as well. Let's just focus on a touchdown right here. Titans are going to recover the football. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like right. they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting not sure if I want to um, 80 percent of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see already. that number is empirical. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. Seven All right, we'll start running. Rushing for him now to this point. If you can keep getting gains like that, Charles, with the lead here in the fourth quarter, I mean, keep running it, right? No doubt about it. But what the offense coordinator has to do is understand they're going to continue to stack the line of scrimmage. What runs do you have in your arsenal that'll work against a stacked box and continue to move the ball? Here now, second and four. Gonna run again here with Potter. Oh, that no. hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Call that a loss of the yard and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Now obviously that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side of the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word. Put it in bold. Here we go. Oh. I am tripping, y'all. Well, he was up there ready at the line of scrimmage, CD, but no snap, and the delay of game ensued. Yeah, I'm I got sure two the head asking the exact same thing. What's going on out there? Right, Almost nice. like they thought they had more time than actually was on the clock. Delay of game penalty. Ships him back five yards, makes it third and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. The is complete. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. Look at the field goal. That pattern and scheme was well defensed like third it. down. He tried to just sprint from one side of the field to the other, and they got it to him quickly. But no chance at yards after the catch there, know. and they stop him short. You got to get a stop, though. I think we can get a stop in Big Nick, though. Because he's still got to be somewhat aggressive. And this is good from 50. He's still got to be somewhat aggressive because he needs the ball twice. Bombs away right so as long as we don't give up a quick score, we should be good. Even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. I think I kicked this out. that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal to start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. And we're at the time in this Super Bowl where, look, they need points. And they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth I quarter. I did not mean to they begin this drive first and ten. And a dump off to White. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So five yards here, five on the play, and it'll be second down. Mayfield now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And it's going to be incomplete. 
They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver. We get that. We on the way home. Couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This will be third and five. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Yes, the defense. He has yeah, somebody open. This will be incomplete. One more, y'all. We'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. If they're going to have a shot in this Super Bowl, they're going to need this one on fourth down. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. No way. You got somebody standing right there. To get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. First down, Mayfield. Just that. Just that. Just that. Pressure comes, and the Titans able to bring him down. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. And the job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Throwing Mayfield. Over the middle, complete. What a Super Bowl it's been to this point. Now a critical third down here. Here's Mayfield. Yes. This stuff, this is That's it. And that should That's do it. it. We want it, baby. Picked off by a We want it. Down the sideline he goes. We want it, baby. Let's go. Finally. It's a touchdown. We finally got one, man. Butker now it ain't over, extra but. Point. We finally got one. Jeez. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Those Super Bowl hopes that they had really dwindling now here in the fourth quarter. That NFC crown that they got to. Mm. They got his man That's my fault. I tried to pick it. He'll be taken down with yeah. a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. A first down throw for Mayfield. to the line quickly. Mayfield on first down. This That's is a knockout, boy. And yeah, the Buccaneers are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. White. Trying to get to the goal line, but it's going to be stopped just short at the one. Second and goal from the one. Mayfield off the play fake. I don't know why I thought he was throwing running in the touchdown. Tampa Bay. Ronnie Bell, a one yard touchdown reception. And the Buccaneers have got it back to a two score game here in the fourth. At the very least, he's making moves all the time. Good. And the lead is trimmed down Let's to get 10. Out of here. We get a field goal. So two bridge. scores nine. down. Time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. we knew even before they put the the toe to the leather on that one their chances of getting that done slim and none 
And I do believe we saw Slip just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down Something to nine. Extremely crazy to have to happen for We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Now the defense going to use the I'm first of their timeouts as I'm the clock that, shows 50 10. seconds to play here in quarter number four. They went with the run pass I mean, have option. The and no timeouts. The get the ball back on the one side. Because the defense was ready. Score again. So many times you put the defense at a disadvantage because you have those multiple options. But when they read their keys and play it correctly, sometimes That's the result it. goes in their favor. And he is going to have a Titans first down. And that should now. just about do it. I've got an idea. Let's get it. Let's the racing to the Let's go. Finally. Let's go to the post game press conference. I have a feeling. Finally. This winning team. Come on. A lot of credit to the running game the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line. Yes. I want to hear that music. The ball has been key, but those guys Come on. Front, they've made a lot of space. I want to hear that music. Let's go, man. Finally. 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 Let's go. It's time to celebrate. Bring the champagne. Bring the champagne. Bring the champagne. That's pretty phenomenal right there. It actually gave me chills just to hear you say that because immortality forever and ever. When you look in the record books, you'll see this team, you'll see their picture, that your name will be a part of it. That's got to be an incredible feeling because it's been a long journey to get there, and now they get a chance to enjoy it. Let's go, man. We did it. Let's get it, man. It's about time. Yes, sir. I hate we had to go through all of that extra, but at the end of the day, I'm glad that at least I finished the job. So that's one. We're going to enjoy this one, and then we got another one to play for in, uh, with the Eagles. So... Um, Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So with that being said, I appreciate y'all for pulling up. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time, take care of yourselves. Peace.